Hi guys, so Isa and I are going on a little mushroom forage today, but uh, we just made our way up this super, super short but steep hill and poor Boo Boo got attacked by some bees, but other than being a little, I don't know, scared? Do dogs get scared? She seems to be doing just fine. She just had some treats and you ready for adventure, Boo Boo? You good girl? You good girl? You good girl? Yeah, okay. Found our first edible mushroom. It's pretty dry where I'm at. It's a little early in the season, but here's a bunch of oyster mushrooms. Here they are. Run on this old log, probably old hemlock. So yeah, this is an edible mushroom. Some oysters. Put it back. I just saw something orange. Let's see. What do we got? Oh. Nope. Are these sulfur tufts? Pretty though, but not the right thing. Not a chanterelle. Here's an artist conch, Ganoderma aplanatum. When you draw in it, it stains brown like this. Something really cool just happened. I heard an elk bugle. It sounded pretty far away, like probably across this drainage on the other side over there somewhere. But yeah, that was cool. I hope it does it again. Since I haven't really been finding many edibles, um, here's a really great specimen of the artist conch, the Ganoderma aplanatum. And I think I'm actually gonna harvest these two to take with me to do a couple of cool little art projects with because when you uh, use like a, anything to scrape the underside with like a stick or anything it'll actually come out brown and once it dries it'll stay that color permanently so it's really cool so let's see if I can harvest these without staining them too much So you can see this part's the old part, like from last year, and here's all the new. Huh. Much smaller surface to work with, and this one's got some mold on it, so. But I can kind of show you guys, so I'm gonna leave this one because it's like just kind of small, but check this out. Okay, so here's a little stick and our little mushroom, so. Some mountains, a couple of trees, so there you go, kind of get the gist. There you go. On this old logging road and just ran into a archery elk hunter so it was cool I talked to him for a few minutes and he heard the elk bugle as well and then he also made a few bugles of his own so talked to him also about the mushroom report and he also has not found any chanterelles out here but that's all right we're just having a lovely walk so yeah it's uh it's hunting season for all kinds of things so Got my orange on. I know not a ton of orange, but pretty obvious anyways. And I'm hunting mushrooms, so. Here's a whole bunch of artist conch, so. This is an artist conch video now. <laughs> Look at all the spores, too. All of this brown is their spores. Look, it's on everything. On the leaves. It's like... Yeah, so these guys have spread their spores, done their job. 
Look at that. Look at all those spores on there. And they're on top because they, they release the spores from the bottom, but they blow up and land on top of them. There's a good one. Could see the underside of it. And more on that one too. Whole bunch of them. And some really big ones. There's a huge one over there. And it looks like they're growing on this old hemlock tree. Oh yeah, that's gonna be a great one for drawing on and then I'm gonna give it away as a little present. Oh man, that one got a little scuffed up. Perfect one. Wow, look at these. All artist conks. Big and beautiful ones. I'm gonna leave these really big ones here. I just kinda like the smaller hand-sized one. And I'm not, you know, a super talented artist or anything, but um, yeah, this would be a very cool piece for somebody that had really good art skills. And uh, once, once you let them dry, your artwork stays on there permanently. So when they're young and fresh, you kind of have to be careful about not scuffing up the writing on side. There it is, see? It happens that fast. And once it dries out, then it'll stay that way. Perfect. Perfect size for me. Look, here's a whole snag full of them. Some of them kind of look older and maybe don't have their artist side to them anymore, but this one on the bottom looks really good. Let's take a look underneath. Whoa. Look at all the spores on there. You can see literally all the spores. Let's go ahead and... Wow, all of that brown are the spores. Look at that. <laughs> Tons, billions of them. Bunch of woodpecker holes. Here's some better oysters. Yeah, look at that. That's a nice cluster of them. Put that in the basket. Oysters and artist Kong. And Boo Boo, much happier. All right, so Boo Boo and I, hey had a fun little forage today. Not a lot in terms of edible mushrooms, not a lot of mushrooms in general, kind of dry in this area. But the cool find was the artist conch, the Ganoderma aplanatum. And I'm not a great artist or anything, but excited to take home a little basket of them and uh, test the old left side of the brain and do some creative drawing on there and give a few of them away as little gifts. So, Issa got her bee stings this morning, but she's much better now. Happy dog. And yeah, we're gonna head back. So, thank you guys for watching the short little video. Appreciate you all. And your likes, subscribe, comments, all those great things. Thank you so much. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.